Pope Athanasius III of Alexandria, 76th Pope of Alexandria and Patriarch of the See of St. Mark. He was known as Athanasius ibn Khalil, Al-Baba Athanasius al Talth ibn Khalil. His episcopate lasted for 11 years, 1 month and 18 days from Sunday 9 October 1250 12 Baba, 967 AM to 27 November 1261 AD 1 Kiyok, Koyok 978 AM. The See of St. Mark remained vacant for one month and five days after his death and he was succeeded by Pope John VII of Alexandria. He was buried in St. Mercurius Church in Coptic Cairo. In his time, the papal residence was at the Church of the Holy Virgin Mary and St. Damiana known as the Hanging Church in Coptic Cairo. Topic contemporary rulers of Egypt during his episcopate topic The episcopate of Pope Athanasius III of Alexandria started at the time when the Ayyubid dynasty AD lost power to their slave troops Mamluks in Egypt 1250 AD and elsewhere 1260 AD. The Bariya Mamluks al 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 was a Mamluk dynasty of mostly Turkic origin that ruled the Egyptian Mamluk Sultanate from 1250 to 1382. They were succeeded by a second Mamluk dynasty, the Burji dynasty 1382 to 1517 AD. Their name Bariya means of the river, referring to the location of their original settlement on Al Rada Island in the Nile, Nar al Nil, in medieval Cairo, at the castle of Al Rada, which was built by the Ayyubid Sultan as Salah Ayyub. Al Mulk al Sul Enjim al Din Abe reign 1240 to 22 November 1249. Pope Athanasius III of Alexandria became the patriarch at the time of the reign of Al Ashraf Musa, Sultan of Egypt. Al Ashraf Musi, who was the last, albeit titular, Ayyubid Sultan of Egypt, ruled July 12. 1250–1254 AD. Al-Ushraf Musa was the puppet of the strong Mamluk ruler Is ad-Din Abak. Thus, the episcopate of Pope Athanasius III of Alexandria coincided with the following rulers, Al-Ushraf Musa, Sultan of Egypt, Al-Ashraf Musi Is al-Din Abak, Zi al-Din Abe al-Mansur Ali, Nu al-Din Li bn Abe Qutas, Qutes and Bibers. But below is a tabulation of the periods of reign of various rules of Egypt at the time. 2 May 1250 to July 1250 AD, Shahar al Dur, Shajar al Dur, Tree of Pearls, whose royal name was Al Malika backquote Azmat ad Din Um Khalil Shahar ad Dur, Al Malt Smt al Din M Khalil Shajar al Dur, nicknamed M Khalil Um Khalil, Mother of Khalil, died 28 April 1257 in Cairo. She was the wife of Sultan al Malik as Salah Ayyub, al Malk al Sul Enjim al Din Abe, Egypt's Sultan of the Ayyubid dynasty, and later married Is al Din Abak, Egypt Sultan of the Bari Mamluk dynasty. Abak married her to claim access to the throne. Shahar al Dur played a crucial role after the death of her first husband in al Mansura the 22nd of November 1249 during the Seventh Crusade 1249-1250. She became the Sultana of Egypt on May 2, 1250 648 AH, marking the end of the Ayyubid reign and the start of the Mamluk era. Her reign was short, lasting under three months. Many Muslim historians believed that she was of Turkic origin and some believed that she was of Armenian origin July 1250 AD five days, first reign, Mamluk Sultan al-Muiz is al-Din Abak 1250-1257 AD, 648-655 AH, assassinated al-Mulk al-Mz z al-Din Abe al-Turkmani al Jankar. his official reign was from 1254-1257 AD, however, he was the de facto ruler since 1250 AD. July 1250-1254 AD, Ayyubid Sultan Al-Malik Al-Ashraf II Muzaffar ad-Din Musa Al-Ashraf Musi Al-Ashraf, reign 1250-1254 AD, 648-650 AH. Al-Ashraf Musa Al-Ashraf Musi was the last, albeit titular, Ayyubid Sultan of Egypt. Al-Ashraf Musa, Sultan of Egypt, was the puppet of the strong Mamluk ruler Is ad-Din Abak. 1254–1257 AD, Mamluk Sultan al-Malik al-Muiz is al-Din Abak al-Jashangir al-Turkmani al-Salihi 1250–1257 AD, 648–655 AH, assassinated al-Mulk al-Mz z al-Din Abe al-Turkmani al-Jankar His official reign was from 1254–1257 AD, however, he was the de facto ruler since 1250 AD. Is al-Din Abak Z al -Din Abe was the first of the Mamluk sultans of Egypt in the Turkic Bari line, if the reign of Shahar al-Dur is discounted. 
1257 November 1259 AD, Mamluk Sultan al Malik al Mansur Nur ad Din Ali ibn Abak, dethroned. Almulk Almsaur Nu al Din Li Bian Al Mansur Ali Almsaur Li B. C. 1244, Cairo was the second of the Mamluk sultans of Egypt in the Turkic, or Bari, line. Some historians, however, consider Shahar al Dur as the first of the Mamluk sultans, thus, al Mansur Ali was the third Mamluk sultan he ruled from 1257 to 1259 after the assassination of his father Abak during a turbulent period that witnessed the Mongols' invasion of the Islamic world. November 1259 to the 24th of October 1260 AD, the reign of Mamluk Sultan al-Malik al-Muzaffar Saif al-Din Qutuz 1259 to 1260 AD, assassinated Elmelk Almsfer Saif al-Din Qutuz Arabic, Saif al-Din Qutuz D. The 24th of October 1260. Under his leadership, the Mamluks defeated the Mongols in the key battle of Ain Jalut, the 3rd of September 1260. Qutuz was assassinated by a fellow Mamluk leader, Bibers, on his triumphant return journey to Cairo, the 24th of October 1260 to the 1st of July 1277 AD. The reign of Mamluk Sultan Al Zahir Rukan Al Din Bibers, Baybars, I Al Bundukdari, 1260 to 1277 AD, 658 to 665 AH, died in office. Al Mulk Al Zahir Urkan Al Din Bibers Al Bchadari, nicknamed Abu Al Fuda and Abu El Futuhat, Ab Alft, father. Of conquest, referring to his victories, he was one of the commanders of the Muslim forces that inflicted a defeat on the Seventh Crusade (1248–1254) of King Louis IX of France. Louis IX was defeated by the Ayyubid Sultan Al Muazzam Tarantia, supported by the Bihariya Mamluks led by Faris ad Din Akhtai, Bibers al Bundukdari, Qutuz, Abak, and Al Mansur Kalawan, and Louis IX was captured. Approximately 800,000 bezants were paid in ransom for his release. Bibers also led the vanguard of the army at the Battle of Ain Jalut in 1260, which marked the first substantial defeat of the Mongol army and is considered a turning point in history. The reign of Bibers marked the start of the age of Mamluk dominance in the eastern Mediterranean and solidified the durability of their military system. He managed to pave the way for the end of the Crusader presence in the Levant and reinforced the Union of Egypt and Syria as the region's preeminent Muslim state, able to fend off threats from both Crusaders and Mongols, and even managed to subdue the Kingdom of Makuria in the Sudan, which was famous for being unconquerable by previous Muslim Empire invasion attempts. This marks the start of the spread of Islam south of Egypt. Topic brief biography Topic After the repose of Pope Cyril III of Alexandria Cyril III ibn Laklak 75th Pope of Alexandria and Patriarch of the See of St. Mark, on 10 March 1243 AD, the Episcopal See of St. Mark remained vacant for seven and a half years. The Copts were obliged to pay a fee of 3,000 dinars every time they ordain a new Pope, which was a prohibitive sum. However, when Sultan Ezzedin Abak al Alms Z al Din Abe al Turkmani al Jankar became the de facto ruler in 1250 AD, the Copts offered him a gift of 500 dinars for the purpose of this ordination, and he accepted it. Moreover, it seems that this was the last time that such a fee was imposed, as there is no record in history that the Copts had to pay this fee again. The person selected for the Patriarchate was a priest and a monk from the monastery of St. Anthony in the eastern desert. His name was Paul ibn Khalil al Masri. He was a deacon and the son of a priest, and then he became a monk and priest under the name Paul and was nicknamed the son of Rev. Makaram ben Khalil. Weld Alks Makaram bn Khalil. He was selected over a priest and monk named Gabriel, who was a relative of Bishop Abba Peter of Tanbadi, Betiniers Ask Tnab, who was hoping for the position, supported by the children of Al Asal, Alad Al Sal, but the people rejected Gabriel the monk. Bishop Abba Yusab of Fo and Upper Manuf, the author of a useful work on church history, Alanba Yasab Sab Al Tariq Ask Few Women Alia played an important role in establishing the ordination of the priest Paul ibn Khalil the monk, and finally all agreed on his ordination. When he was chosen for the Patriarchate, he was promoted to the rank of Hegumen Dritta Lagmansid of the Hanging Church Alknist Almulkt in Cairo on Sunday 2 October 1250 AD 5 Baba 967 AM with great glory and celebration. After being promoted to the rank of Hegumen in Cairo, he travelled with the bishops, the senior clergy, and the Coptic leaders to Alexandria to complete his ordination as Patriarch, as was the custom. 
There, he was consecrated Patriarch in the Church of Sotir the Church of the Savior in Alexandria Nist Ulster Nist Ankles a week later on Sunday 9 October 1250 AD. At the time of the ordination of Pope Athanasius III, the vizier Sherifuddin Abbey said the son of Said al Nayizi al Wizir Shref al Din Abai Sid H. al Bn Sad al Nayizi was present in Alexandria. The Pope met with him, and the vizier received him for a long reception. Before leaving Alexandria, the new Pope consecrated several churches and ordained a number of priests. He then headed to monasteries of Nitria Wadi al-Natrun, Wadi al Natrun, as was the custom of the new patriarchs when they were ordained. In the year 1257 AD 973 AM, Pope Athanasius III consecrated the holy oil of chrismation the Myron, Almern in the monastery of St. Macarius Abbey Makar, The consecration was attended by several bishops. They included Bishop Abba Ioannis of Samanod, Alanba Ioannis Ask Smout Bishop Abba Gregorius of Mahala, Anba Gryaris Ask Alm Bishop Mikhail of El Baramon, Anba Mikhail Ask Albermon Bishop Abba Yusab of Fo and Upper Manuf The author of a useful work on church history, Alanba Yausab Sab al Tarek Ask Few Women Alia Bishop Abba Abram of Nestro, Anba Abram Ask Nestruth Bishop Abba Boutros of Sinjar, Anba Betiniers Ask Snur Bishop Abba Uanes of Lakyana, Anba Ioannis Ask Kunt Bishop Abba Mark of Dafri, Anba Merks Ask Free Bishop Abba Ioannis ibn al Khazan of Abu Tig, Anba Yawans ibn al Khazan ask Abtai Bishop Abba Yusab of Akmam, Anba Yausab ask Akmam Bishop Abba Boutros of Fayum, Anba Betiniers ask Alfiam and 12 Bishop Abba Ioannis of Al Banasa, Oxyrinkus. Anba Yuan's Aben Alrept ask Alps. He struggled during his episcopate for peace within the church and struggled against the ill effects of simony acquisition of the priesthood with money. When he became Patriarch, he attempted everything within his power to heal the Church and repair the damage caused by his predecessor, Cyril III. Al-Baba Curls bn He pressed hard on the bishops who ascended to the episcopate by the Simeonite way, the manner in which Pope Cyril III sold the various positions of the episcopate. Because of this, many Coptic bishops left the Orthodox faith. In his days, a governor official named Asad Sheriff al Din Hibatullah bin Saad al Nazi, al Wizir Alast Shref al Din H. al Bn Saad al Nazi, who used to be a Coptic Christian, Qt al Asal, charged the Christians double the allocated taxation. In his days also, the Muslims rioted in Damascus and destroyed the Church of the Virgin Mary after burning and looting what was in it. Al Makrizi, Part 4, p. 402. Also in the year 1259 AD 976 AM, a group of Christians were killed in Damascus and their homes were looted just before the Battle of Ain Jalut. Following the Battle of Ain Jalut and the defeat of the Mongols, the Mamluk Sultan al-Malik al-Muzaffar Saif al-Din Qutas entered Damascus, and ordered the Christians to pay 150,000 dirhams, which collected from them and carried to him by the embassy of the Persian prince Farasuddin Akhtay. Alamur Alfarzi Faz al Danakte Almsterb Adabamsk. There was a large Coptic presence in Damascus in these days, and they had many Coptic churches in Damascus. References